I hope this is enjoyable for you. Here's the Jilpo 3 video game room tour. Alright, let's start the room tour with what else but NES games. Uh, when I first started collecting these, I, uh, I got as many as I could, and then I kind of stopped for a while. And then when I started again, I just went crazy with them, trying to get them all. Let's go over the top shelf real quick. These are my top shelf games. Of course, Bonnet Commando, Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble 2, Castlevania 1, 2, 3, Dragon Warrior 1, 2, and 4, missing 3. Gauntlet, Gauntlet 2. I have my two PAL games here. Uh, Over Horizon and Pac-Man. Contra, Final Fantasy, Shadowgate, Life Force, Strider, Punch-Out, Kid Icarus, Tetris, to name just a few. Alright, and I got some more on the top shelf here. That's some of my favorite box boxes over here. Final Fantasy, the Mega Man 2, the PAL one. Ghosts and Goblins, Losers and Warriors, and Gauntlet 2. Over here I have some more boxes. The Super Nintendo, my first box Famicom game, Clue Clue Land, right there. Uh, thank you, Fat Funk, for this Super Mario Land. Got some more Super Famicom boxed, Mario poster, and the crown jewel of my collection. This is Rockman 5 for the Famicom. Let's have the Bionic Commando and Zelda Lunchbox. A few Super Famicom games. Over here, I have my uh, boxed NES games. And my boxed. Advantage, a Zelda manual, unopened Othello, a couple game cubes. I have Mario Land 1 and 2, I have the Sega Game Gear and the Game Boys. I also have a few manuals on the wall the Super Famicom, the Nintendo, the Famicom, and the Famicom Disk System. And up here I have Mega Man boxed. And one of my good friends, Fat Funk, did a drawing of me and it turned out really really good and uh, I don't know I just look at it every single day it makes me very happy it's a very good drawing thank you sir all right and moving on well of course we have the Sega jar and the genie in a bottle let's go in here <clears throat> we have some Genesis games loose and the Super Nintendo games over here I have a couple consoles. I have the N64 and the Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy games. They kind of. The little uh, container keeps the dust out of the way, which is good for them, I think. I have my boxed NES satellite and the Sega Master System and Genesis games. I have some of my Atari games right here. And one of them worth mentioning is the double sided Chuck Norris. That's pretty cool. Alright, and then we have the Wii, Xbox, PS1, PS2, GameCube, Game Gear games. Over here we have a Texas Instrument, TI-99 4 slash A games. Great console. And the Famicom Disk System game. And on the bottom we have the Famicom games. I want to uh, display them better because I can't really read them very well. <laughs> but I'll work on that. All right, then we have consoles over here. Starting the back, we have the PS1, the Famicom, the Famicom Disk System, NES, the Super Nintendo, NES Top Loader, another NES, N64, two Game Cubes, Xbox with the remote, Super Famicom, Texas Instrument TI-99, DVD player with a USB pretty cool. Then up here we have the Yobo. We have Atari plug and play and an Atari. Uh, this is my main TV. I have three 32 inch TVs. This is my main one. With the wall of controllers as you all know. And I need more hooks because I have controllers also that aren't even on the wall. I have the ski lodge ceiling also. All right. <clears throat> Let me show you real quick. One of the coolest things about my bathroom, besides the obvious, is over here in the drawer, I have the inside of a Famicom when I took it apart, and a couple controllers in here. Alright, <clears throat> moving on. We have the Sega Master System over here 
with a lot of extra controllers and wires for whatever you can imagine. My Wii remotes, nunchuck, and the wheel. Over here we have the one TI-99 box game I have, Tinder Powers, stacked up. Have some random manuals. I have posters, Super Nintendo manuals plus more, and the Nintendo manuals. My Sega Game Gear case. Silly Putty from Diki Dana. And the Mario. My Zelda poster. Over here I have the box to Yobo. I have some packing materials and some dust sleeves for Nintendo. I have my other TV right here. I'm hooked up to it right now is the Super Nintendo. I've been playing the uh, Super Metroid a lot lately. Up here I have my boxes for the TI-99, Super Famicom, GameCube, the Nintendo, Famicom, and the Famicom Disk System. My whatever clock. My two computers, my Dell, which is my 15 inch monitor and 17 inch. And this one actually has on it, let's recognize that, the Final Fantasy 7. Okay. And I have a mini fridge right here with what else in it but Bush. Best beer ever. And the one thing I like best about my room is this remote right here controls that painting, my lights. And my low lights. Alright, for the last part of the room tour, I have my Wii uh, downstairs in the living room in hopes that people would come over and all play together. It's a bigger room than, uh, you know. What the hell is that? What? Oh, it's cool, it's cool. Mario, the producer, playing Sega on this show? Wait, all the, all the dollars you made me pay to the, uh, Second jar. Producer, you're fired again. You're out of here, buddy. This is Jill Poo 3. I've had a great time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. So why are you shooting rockets out of a plane?